Hi, you guys are not going to believe this, but there's a whole bunch of farm animals in my office this morning, so quiet down! So it's going to be difficult to do this lecture, but I'm going to try my best. Okay, so let's just start. So what we didn't finish about replication is what happens in the ends. What happens at the end of the chromosome? We talked about when we're replacing the primers, that we use the 3 prime OH from the other strand, from an existing strand that DNA polymerase 3 made. And so they're just showing us right here in this little picture right there that all these primers have to go. Every place there's a green, we have to get rid of the primers, whether it's at the end, in the middle, right? All of these guys need to be replaced. And you can see, if we zoom in a little bit, that each one of these primers sits next to, oh, stop it, stop it, what the heck is going on? Sits next to a three prime OH. This is the three prime N, this is really a nucleotide, it's juicy three prime OH is hanging off right here. Remember we said DNA polymerase one comes in, this is the five prime end of this nucleotide, we clip it out and add in a new guy, grab the 3' OH, phosphodiester bond, a deoxyribonucleotide. Remove another ribonucleotide, phosphodiester bond, another deoxyribonucleotide. Until we remove all of this primer, and then we're stuck right here with, an exist with a 3' OH and an existing 5' phosphate. And that's where... DNA polymerase 1 can't do anything, and that final bond right there is made by ligase. Okay, that's exactly what we've already gone over. So that, my friends, is where we left off in class. But what about the ends? What about over here, by this little arrow guy, here, and what about here? Right, All of these guys we can remove, remove, replace, remove, replace, remove, replace, remove... Oh, there's no existing 3' OH sitting here. There's no existing 3' OH sitting here. There isn't another strand. This, in this case, this really is the end of the chromosomes, right? If we're pretending this is one whole chromosome. So this is a problem, and this is a problem. So right here is a blow-up of just this one strand. We're ignoring this strand for now. We're just blowing up that other strand. So that's what we need to look... Oh my god. Okay, guys. Thank you. So that's what this says. No 3' OH to grab onto. So there would be a gap left by the removal of this primer. And so every round of replication of an adult cell that's not... Uh, embryonic, right, once we've gotten to the point past gastrulation and all of that good stuff, at some point each of our chromosomes is shortening by length of one primer every round of replication. Shortening, 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 until it pretty much eats away most of the telomere, and when that happens, that's a signal to the cell to kill itself by apoptosis. So it's a protective mechanism for getting rid of cells that are old, right? The more rounds of replication, the more possible mutations that could happen. We talked about replication and complementary base pairing is idiot proof. Occasionally mistakes are made. Any individual base pair change can cause a change in the RNA, which can cause a change in the protein, which can cause a change in the function, right? And if we take a protein that we need, like a tumor suppressor that blocks the cell cycle, and it mutates so that it no longer works, the cell cycle go, 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 go. When the cell cycle goes uncontrollably, we get cancer. And that's always bad. So that's why... Okay, guys, quiet down. Come on. Oh, jeez. Okay. Now, the telomeres of every chromosome, so the very ends of every chromosome, is just repeated sequence, okay? And every species has its own specific repeats. So I actually have no idea if this is human or what kind of telomere this is. Um, but see how it's the same repeated sequence over and over and over? Which is handy because then one telomerase enzyme and one RNA template 
can function to fix the ends of every single chromosome because it's just this repeated sequence, right? We have the same kind of repeated sequences at the centromere. So the centromere and the telomeres do not have any real uh, genes there because it's just this repeated sequence. It's sort of a holding center. And so that way, as it gets chewed away, we're not chewing away at any genes. Chewed away meaning every round of replication, it shortens by the length of one primer, right? We're not getting rid of genes. We're just getting rid of these, these um, repeated sequences. So until we get through the entire telomere, which I'm not even sure how many rounds of replication that would take. I'd have to go look it up. Um, but considerable number, right? Then the cell kills itself, right? Cell suicide for the sake of the host. So let's talk about how this works and what we see when we're in embryonic cells. Because remember, most, almost all adult cells do not express telomerase. We don't want it expressed. It's a bad thing to have telomerase expressed in a cell that's not embryonic. So let's just, oh, they, good Lord, this is, it's really crowded in here and it really doesn't smell very good either. So I, I this is rough guys, it's, I'm going to have to hurry up. Okay, thank you. So in telomerase, here's the telomerase and it's an enzyme, but it's also a ribozyme. Ribo, hmm, ribozyme with a Z is a, an RNA molecule that has catalytic activity. So part of the telomerase is a piece of RNA that just happens to be complementary to our repeat. What happens when you put two complementary strands of nucleotides near each other and anti-parallel? Yes, 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 my friends, we get hydrogen bonding. And so hydrogen bonding happens, between the RNA of telomerase and the DNA template where it's where that primer was removed and it's naked or there's nobody attached. So we get this hydrogen bonding right here. And then what do we see here, pray tell? Hmm? Hmm? What is it? What is it? What do you see? What do you see? I don't know. What is that? That... Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, okay, okay, I know you like a juicy 3 prime OH, but you got to cool off. Now, the polymerase function of telomerase. Telomerase is a multi-component machine. Many enzymes, part RNA, ribozymes. The polymerase function of this guy can then use it to fill in, right? Back to here. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Don't get too excited. Sorry, I'm getting all worked up. Okay. So we get hydrogen bonding, and then guess what? We actually get polymerization off of this 3' OH. What the heck? That's crazy talk. This is the template. So this little piece of RNA does some complementary, overlaps a little bit, and then polymerase uses this 3' OH, grabs it, it's juicy, and starts complementary base pairing to actually extend the chromosome. What? Yes make it longer and longer. So we start extending, and then this guy will move, jump over so we can extend some more, move, 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 and then, I don't know how many times it translocates, a bunch of times, this gets even longer, then it will jump, then the polymerase function jumps here and fills in this way with um, DNA nucleotides, right? So 3' OH, phosphodiester bond, phosphodiester bond, phosphodiester bond, 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 bond. Holy crap, can we have a phosphodiester bond here from polymerase? No, 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 no. Who has to do this? Who, who, who? An existing 5' phosphate, an existing 3' OH sitting right next to each other? Mm-hmm. Our good friend Lagies. All right, he is really, really good. So that guy does that. Yes, I know, he, the, the horse happens to really enjoy ligase. Okay, so ligation, meaning ligase, right? And then this RNA primer, the part of the telomerase, mo leaves. And we end up with this overlap. And if you go look at the structure of a telomere, which of course, it'd be really great and instructional if I had a picture for you, but I don't. 
<sighs> because I have all these farm animals, I didn't have time to go look for it. It actually folds over and creates sort of a cap mechanism for the end of the chromosomes. Remember I said whenever there's anything free floating around in the cells, it'll get chewed up by a nuclease because we think it's a virus. So this actually forms a three-dimensional structure using complementary base pairing back on itself because guess what, right? Now it can fold itself so that it's anti-parallel and we can get some, some hydrogen bonding and it forms kind of like a cap at the end of each chromosome so that it's totally protected from all of the nucleases. So that's what happens in embryonic cells, right? Telomerase is expressed and we extend the template, we fill in, it stays exactly the same length or even longer, and that keeps those cells able to replicate, 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 replicate. Because when you start from one zygote and you need to become a billion cells of a fetus, you got to be able to not kill yourself after some rounds of replication. But in adult cells, a few rounds of replication, we need to be done with that cell. Because lots of rounds of replication in adult cells means what? Cancer. Cancer is bad. We don't like it. We don't want it. So he, here's our figures from this text. This is all the same. Nice and easy, right? Here's where the primer used to be. We kicked it out. There's no juicy 3 OH. Here's telomerase. Here's its RNA that's complementary. We extend new DNA, new DNA, right? Translocate, add some more DNA. That's all fine and good. We like that. That's no problem. And uh, this is okay. This is okay. But then this is all wrong. We, all right, you guys, come on. We, uh, they say this is removed and then it's filled in. How on earth? Why is this wrong? Why? Why is this wrong? Somebody tell me. Somebody explain why this is incorrect. Why can't, why, how can this fill in if we remove this? Explain this and give me an upload. Number 29.9, which I haven't set up yet, but I'm going to right now. Okay, because that is important. This is everything. Everything we know right now is this. So please, let's get a point and do an upload. Yep. <laughs> what is that guy doing in my office?